Understanding Exposed Beams in Architecture Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating architectural term, exposed beams. This phrase is not only interesting but also quite visual, making it a great topic to enhance your English vocabulary, especially if you're interested in architecture or interior design. Let's dive in. Exposed beams are a structural and decorative element in architecture. They are the beams in a building that are visible from inside the space. Unlike beams that are hidden behind walls or ceilings, exposed beams are left uncovered. They can be seen in many types of buildings, from ancient barns to modern lofts. These beams add a rustic or industrial charm to the space, and they are often celebrated for their aesthetic appeal. Exposed beams are not just about looks. They have a practical purpose, too. Historically, they were part of the building's framework, providing essential support. In modern design, while they can still be structural, often they are purely decorative. Exposed beams can also influence the feeling of space in a room. Rooms with high ceilings and exposed beams can feel more spacious and airy. There are various types of exposed beam designs. Some common ones include traditional wooden beams, often found in older or rustic style homes. They bring a warm, natural feel to the space. Steel or metal beams, more common in industrial or contemporary designs. They add a sleek, modern touch. Faux beams, these are not real load-bearing beams but are used purely for decoration. Exposed beams are not limited to one culture or region. They can be found worldwide, from the traditional Japanese architecture, where they are a significant feature, to the wooden beam ceilings of old European cottages. Each culture adds its unique touch to how these beams are incorporated and styled in buildings. Thank you for joining us to learn about exposed beams. We hope this video has not only expanded your English vocabulary but also given you insight into a fascinating architectural feature. Remember, learning English can be fun, especially when it intersects with interesting topics like architecture. Keep exploring and learning. See you in our next video.